Hello everyone, my name is Redbeard, so I've talked in other videos about how in my most ideal version of Ogres, Maneaters would have an upgrade system similar to Chaos War Bands. In that, rather than unlocking unit upgrades through ranking up, you unlock units by winning battles. Win a battle against Dark Elves, unlock a variant based on that race for the Maneaters in said army. And so on for every race, there would be a unique variant. While that's a lot of variants, even if CA only added half of what I'm suggesting, modders could easily tweak and expand. Additionally, these variants could be added to the recruitment pools of ogre camp mercenaries for their respective races. All that being said, I wanted to take a look at what these variants could be. On screen now are all the official miniatures for many other variants. Correct me in the comments if there are more. Starting at bottom left with the Paymaster, who I think may be the generic lord in the DLC. More on him near the end of the video. Top left is an Arabian variant with dual hand weapons, depending on if we get mini race packs or if some of those cultures are folded into the dogs of war. Top center, we have an Empire variant wielding a Great Hammer. Maybe this is supposed to be based off a Priest of Sigmar or the Tutigan Guard. Though I have also seen what I believe is official art from fantasy roleplay depicting them with great swords. Bottom center, I believe, is a Nipponese variant, again, depending on whether we get mini race packs. I think this variant could also work for the Skaven, particularly with Clan Eshin. The mind almost jumps to, well, what about other clans like Scryer, Mulder, etc. But that would definitely run this video into chaos. Bottom right looks like a cook with the rolling pin, so it makes sense to be based on halflings, of course, depending on if they are folded into the Dogs of War. Then top right could make for a hero man-eater variant, but it has a pirate aesthetic, maybe it could work for the Vampire Coast. Now I'll briefly go through some unofficial model conversions I found. Dwarfs had a few cool ones, the first based on Iron Breakers with Drake Fire Pistols. Though we don't have the standard dwarf version yet, Slayers is an obvious choice, but really only reflects that subculture. My favorite is the Mini, which is essentially a double-barreled lead belcher. Instead of picking up a cannon, he picked up a half an organ gun. This one is most definitely based on a Priest of Sigmar from the Empire. This one is based on the Temple Guard of the Lizardmen. Here's another take on the Arabian Paymaster. Here's a take on a savage, or painted, ogre. Before we move on to the next section, there are also older but still official models, rules, and art for Chaos Ogres. Perhaps they would work as the undivided version of Maneaters. Building off those minis, now I want to conceptualize at least one variant for every race. From what I understand, Tabletop makes it seem like Maneaters eat an individual to obtain that individual's battle style. Lore would make it seem like man-eaters have to live amongst a culture to inherit said battle style. Now, if the former is the case, that automatically excludes undead. Since they are called man-eaters, this might also exclude elves, dwarves, lizards, skaven, and greenskins. If the latter is the case, then anyone could work. So, let's explore that. So speaking of Chaos Ogres, we already have a Maneater variant in the Plague Ogres with great weapons. For Undivided or Mono God, you could base those variants on the respective Aspiring Champions or Chosen. Now for Aspiring Champions, Korn will likely be getting Skull Reapers and Wrathmongers in this DLC, but Zinch and Slanesh should get their own Aspiring Champions at some point. I've posited using T'Char's next model from Warhammer Online as inspired from Zinch. His elite champions are called the Raven Host. The Total War ROR unit is called the Severed Claw, which would connect to Tcharzanek's third arm. And for Slanesh, I would use Myrmidesh Painbringers or Simbaresh Twin Souls as inspiration. Of course, if they want to keep it simple for the Maneaters, Korn has dual weapons, Zinch has halberds, Slanesh has Hal Scourges, and Undivided has shields. Now we technically already have some undead ogres in game with the vampirates called the Animated Hulks and Bloated Corpses, but 
These are not Maneater variants. Maybe we could have a Lead Belcher variant, or perhaps it wields dual hand cannons for some heavy blunderbuss play. For the Counts, I feel like we would need an Ogre with a giant scythe. And for Tomb Kings, any you shop T weapons should fit an Ogre just fine. Which brings me to some ranged variants. We already spoke on Dwarves getting an Organ Gun Lead Belcher. What if we applied that same concept to the Chaos Dwarves, except with a Magma Cannon? Also, an Ogre with the Chorf Tusks would be amazing. Piggybacking off the Ushapti with artillery style bows, what about ogres based off the Way Watchers for Wood Elves and Ice Guard for Kislev? The Way Watcher ogres would not get stock, but Woodsman and Vanguard deployment would be unique, and Ice Guard man eaters would have Frostbite and Magical Attacks. Then the Norska variant could essentially just be a unit version of the Ogre Hunter's hero with Javelin. I already spoke off the Empire variant wielding great weapons. I'm good with the Savage variant for Greenskins, instead of any other of the main subcultures. Beastmen would essentially have the melee variant to the Waywatchers, with Woodsmen and Vanguard. Also, they would of course need Bestial Hordes. The Ninja model, shown previously, could fit Clan Eshen of the Skaven well, and perhaps the Cathay variant is based on Jade Warriors or Celestial Dragon Guard. But, what if an Ogre picked up a Gisele or a Crane Gun? They would lose the shield and accuracy, but gain mobility and melee capability. I think the Temple Guard Ogre Mini worked great for Lizardmen. For Bretonia, I suppose you could base them off Battle Pogroms, but I think Mournfang Cavalry dressed in Knight Heraldry would be much more awesome in every way. For the High Elves, maybe the Lothern Guard fit. Another artillery bow, but this time with shields. Then for a dose of female ogres, perhaps for the Dark Elves, we base them off the Sisters of Slaughter. Now that we've exhausted every race, I will just say I don't expect all of this. I would be willing to concede everything but the races of men. So at the very least, we should have all Monogods, Undivided, Norska, Beastmen, Dogs of War, Empire, Bretonia, Kislev, and Cathay, because those are primarily Manish factions except for the mono gods, which are kind of half, I would say. Before I end the video, I want to touch on the missing ogre characters, as this may be my first and last ogre dedicated speculation video. Golg is confirmed as the DLC Lord. I'm willing to bet a version of the Paymaster will be the generic Lord to mirror him. I think both should have man-eater pistols to feel the niche of ranged ogre lords that we don't currently have. Golg also had a rule where he could bring unique magic items to every match. This could be a campaign or battle mechanic, but what if it took inspiration from the Dwarf Engineer where you can unlock different guns? The mind immediately jumps to the Lead Belcher Cannon, but could also have blunderbusses, grenade launchers, or something more exotic like the Gisele or a flamethrower. Again though, at minimum Golg of the Paymaster should have pistols. Also it should probably be obvious why I'm leaving part of his name out. Though not confirmed, it's quite safe to say that the legendary hero is Brag the Gutsman, and the generic hero is the Bruiser. Also add Mounts Mournfang for Bruisers, Rhinox for Tyrants please. Speaking of, that leaves Gark Ironskin up in the air. I firmly believe he is the final piece missing that this Ogre DLC seemingly won't have. Does that mean he will be in FLC at some point, or perhaps in a character pack? We need him as the fourth lord and our cavalry lord. You know, the real lord that's going to lead, uh, uh, like, our Mornfang charges as a faction. Additionally, his relationships with the Chorfs could make for a hybrid faction or at least some interesting mechanics. Whilst I wouldn't lose sleep over them, I would also like to see the Nublar head Honcho as a generic lord, and Brog the Slave Lord as a legendary lord. Oh lord. <laughs> head Honchos to lead your crap stacks, and Brog is an ogre necromancer. Think Helmet Gorst meets Scrag. Brog might have a hybrid vampire count faction, which would be really unique compared to other ogre factions. Some final notes. Golg should take Scrag's starting position. 
Scrag should probably move home to the Great Maw or close by. Lore Master of Sotek did a great video on how the race should be ogre hauled mechanics wise. My quick points are contracts need to be more engaging and rewarding. Characters can take multiple big names. Noblar's units can be converted into meat. Camps need to have movement like black arcs. And of course, we need the missing lores of magic, heavens, and death for casters. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon.